Okay, so while uh, while I wait for Niall to do that, let me just throw out a... <laughs> I wrote down three questions <laughs> um, that have been on my mind uh, lately. We have maybe 10-ish ten, minutes left in this. Uh, time for a sip of brown juice. Mmm, brown juice. It helps the pandemic go down. All right. So uh, the three questions I wrote, uh, where are my libertarians at? That was question one. Because I just, I for some reason, and maybe it's just my online circles, I'm not hearing a lot of calls for small government right now. I don't know, have anybody out there hearing from, where's Grover Norquist right now? Talking about trying to shrink the federal government down to the point where you could drown it in a bathtub. I'm just not hearing that kind of rhetoric anymore. Now, maybe, again, I'm not looking in the right places. I don't hang out at Reason Magazine. But I suspect that maybe those types of people are shutting their face holes because they need the federal government to save their assholes. That's what I'm thinking might be happening. That's just, you know, just riffing on that uh, a bit. Uh, where, where are... Um, where are the anti-vaxxers right now? Where got to be awkward to be an anti-vaxxer in this moment where every human soul on the planet is praying for a vaccine, even those who don't pray because they want to go to a baseball game again or a cricket match or a soccer slash football match at some point in the future. Not hearing too much. Again, I don't, I don't really hang out at anti-vax.biz, but you, know, you let me know. Where what you're hearing from these people? Because I just feel like you had a good run, anti-vaxxers. You you got uh, you know some celebs out of it, like Jenny McCarthy. You trended online on Twitter and Facebook for a little bit. Had your your 15 minutes and milked it. But we're done with you now. We don't need you. Your fun in the sun is over. And and when the vaccines come, maybe you're just like last in line. Because, you know, assuming you believe all the things you were saying you believed after all this time, uh, I just I'm not hearing from the anti-vaxxers in this particular moment. Uh, the other question I ask, will the vegans win? And I ask that because uh, I was reading through a white paper. It's kind of what I do to pass the time. I don't have kids, so I read white papers. And I was talking about, you know, animal-human transmission and the history of all kinds of viruses. You know, these flus are named for animals, right? We had the bird flu and the swine flu. And this coronavirus came from animal slaughter in a wet market in China. Where's the vegetable flu? Like, where's the carrot flu? Where's the squash virus? I'm, have we ever had a, a malicious virus leap from tree to human, I, I, are, are we in fear of our you know, little cacti and other shrubs of our azalea bushes and bougainvilleas? I don't think so. I think the plants just give us life. But these animals are like, back up off me. I tried to warn you. I told you I had consciousness. Now I'm coming for your respiratory tract. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe the vegans should be given a higher seat at the table. Maybe we should remove the seat for the anti-vaxxer, remove the chair for the libertarian, and stock it up with two vegans. How about that? And like a universal healthcare person. I just want to rearrange the table of influence that determines our society. Because when we started listening to the libertarian type voice, it came in the form of a proud Nazi defender, Steve Bannon, who said, and I quote, I'm all about that deconstruction of the administrative state. Remember Steve Bannon? Remember when everybody was just like all up on him, just dying to have him on their tech or media platform because he was this wise, sage elder because he forgot how to shave and took credit for shit he didn't even do. But he's a white dude who looked kind of authoritative, so I guess he knows what he's talking about. And what he was talking about is what we're living in now. This is the deconstruction of the administrative state. When the U.S. federal government cannot muster its might and power and will to defend its citizens from a common enemy. People die. That's what Steve Bannon was talking about. Death. He's like a freaking death eater from a fictional universe. But he's a part of our universe and he had real influence 
over real power in this real nation. So these are just some of the thoughts. That's my mini little monologue. Let me go back, check back in with you, see what's popping in the comments. All right.